Hey, my name's Lauren Eloise and today we're gonna go through five things you should never say to an LGBTQ plus person. I chose to make this video today because today is May 17th, which is International Day Against Homophobia, Biphobia and Transphobia. Today is all about raising awareness about the challenges and the issues us LGBTQ plus people face on a daily basis. So I thought this video would be perfect for today because I wanted to go through some of the most common remarks that we here as LGBTQ plus people, whilst a lot of these aren't intended to be hurtful, people don't say them to hurt us, it can be. By addressing these misconceptions and this type of language, we can create a more supportive and inclusive environment, which is what today is all about. <laughs> also, if someone sent you this video, hi, my name is Lauren, I'm in my mid late 20s, I've been out as a lesbian for eight years <laughs> and I personally have heard a lot of these things and some of these things my parents have even said to me so if you have said these things in the past that's okay as long as you learn now why we don't want to say that and how we can do better and that is such a great segue into the first thing on the list the first thing you should never say to an LGBTQ plus person is I suspected you were gay or I knew you were gay believe me when I say like this is a really common response this often happens when you come out to someone you are pretty close to but the problem with this one is that it implies that sexuality is open to speculation it can make the person feel uncomfortable this is something one of my parents said to me when I came out. However, I came out by saying, hey, I'm dating a girl rather than, hey, I'm gay. And one of my parents was like, oh yeah, I knew, I knew you were gay. But at the time, I didn't even know I was gay. I was still figuring it out. I can't really explain too well how I felt, but it was just like, how do you know? Like, how do you know when I don't even know myself? Also, that's sort of something that's personal to me. Why do you know that? How do you know that? Why don't I know that? You have to remember that someone's sexual orientation is personal. It's up to them to disclose when they feel ready, when they feel comfortable, what they are. Something that you can say instead is, thank you so much for sharing this part of me with you. I appreciate you for letting me know. Next thing you should not say to an LGBTQ plus person is, and I'm kind of combining two things into one with this one, but it's just a phase or are you sure you're gay? This is so common. This happens all the time. Again, it is people close around you. Parents are the culprits of this one. They question their child. How do they know that they're gay? Are they sure? Or this will pass over. This is truly one of the most invalidating things you can say to someone. I know that's a big statement, but hear me out. <laughs> Sexuality or gender identity is something that is so deeply personal. It takes so much self-reflection and self-discovery to even come to the terms that you might not be straight or you might not be the sex or gender you were born at. We've undergone significant self-reflection to reach the point where we're comfortable to put a certain label on how we feel. And coming out takes so much courage to do. It is scary. Eight years later, I still hesitate coming out to certain people at certain times. To tell me that my feelings, my identity is not valid or you questioning what I say, is really hurtful. It's not up to you to determine whether they feel the way they feel or not. For parents watching this, sometimes it feels like your child is so young, like someone who's 13, 14, 15, how can they possibly know what they are? But there is so much more time for them to figure out who they are. Maybe it does change, maybe it doesn't, but it is up to you as a parent to just say, thank you for letting me know and to support them because all they want is your love. Everyone deserves to feel accepted and validated. Just support them. Next one's a bit of a fun one because this one I've experienced in more removed spaces. So like in clubs, at work. <laughs> I've also heard this one plenty of times in the comments or in my DMs, which sucks. But the third thing you should never say to an LGBTQ plus person is, but you don't look gay or you're too pretty to be gay or you don't seem gay. How am I supposed to react to that if someone says that to me? Like, but I am, like, I am gay. <laughs> I know I don't look gay because of the way the media has been portraying lesbians for the longest time. <laughs> so I don't fit that predetermined stereotype. This has literally happened to me in clubs. Guy comes up and I'm like, bruh, sorry, like, no, I'm gay. Usually because they don't take no for an answer. But anyway, no, I'm gay. And they're like, oh, but you're so pretty. Like, how, are you sure? 
Mate, <laughs> no one should have to convince you of their sexuality. Saying you don't look gay reinforces stereotypes and it suggests that appearance or mannerisms, the way you act is equal to sexuality or gender identity. Instead of saying something like this, respect someone's sexuality or gender identity, regardless of how they look or how they act. Alternatively, bite your tongue. <laughs> this one is super important because I really truly think when people say this, they don't have bad intentions. When someone comes out to you as trans, you say, oh, I would have never known you were trans. You might think that you're giving a compliment, but you're essentially saying there's a specific way that someone should look or act if they are transgender. Passing is such a sensitive and subjective matter. Not everyone has the privilege of passing and not everyone wants to. There are many reasons why someone might not want to pass. Maybe it's unsafe for them to be trans or unsafe for them. They're in an environment where they can't identify as who they are. So when you frame passing as good or like the goal, it suggests that trans people are only acceptable if they strive to appear as cisgender. So instead of saying something like this, just know that the only way to know someone's gender is when they tell you what it is. Again, say thank you for letting me know, thank you for telling me, thank you for trusting me with this information. And the last one on the list, it feels silly for me to say, but this still happens, and that is you just haven't found the right man yet. Assuming someone's sexuality can be changed by finding the right person is dismissive. It implies that someone's sexuality is subject to change based on finding the right person or a person or experience. Attempting to change someone's or persuade someone that they're not what they say they are leads to frustration. It's just making someone spiral in self-denial and it's not a fun place to be. I feel like this one can sometimes come from parents wanting the best for their child. I know my mum was afraid when I came out to her as lesbian because she was afraid of how society would accept me. She grew up in the 70s like it wasn't a good time to be gay so I understand why she was afraid and why this sort of thing might be just an attempt to like please don't be gay you just need to find the right man but it's, it's just it, that's just not how life works unfortunately um or fortunately for me. <laughs> Oh God. By the way, you should totally send this video to your parents if you feel comfortable doing that. I would love to open up this conversation to the adults. <laughs> <laughs> have you said any of these things in the past or have you heard them said to you? Let me know in the comments below. Remember the comments on my channel are always a safe space. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a beautiful May 17th and I hope you feel a little bit more inspired, um, a little bit less alone and um, yeah, know that I love you. <laughs> I'll see you guys really soon for Pride Month. I'm gonna be posting at least four or five videos in Pride Month, so watch out for that. I'll see you in two weeks. Bye. Oh. Check out the YouTube socks, how cool are they? <laughs>